Hi, I'm Shelly Levitt with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you how to make a discovery bag. Discovery bags are along the same lines as discovery bottles except they're made with Ziploc bags, hair gel, and whatever items you want to put into them. Discovery bags are really a lot of fun for the children. They're nice and squishy and they can take their fingers and move the items around. It's somewhat cool to the touch so it's, it's very uh, nice for the children to use. And I do recommend that this be a tabletop activity so the children can lay it flat on the table and have a hard surface and easily move the objects around. Whereas if they had it in their lap or on the floor, you take a chance of the children squishing it, popping it, or you know using too much force on it and the, the items would come or the gel would leak out. I do recommend that if you're using very young children that you um, maybe put a little bit of extra glue on here to secure the bag more rather than just closing it. Um, but again, they're very easy to make, and I'll show you how to do that. You just take a Ziploc bag, and you open it, and you start putting the items in that you want to have in your discovery bag. Some things that we use are alphabet beads, and we use little round jewels. And again, you don't want to have anything that's sharp or really thick that would protrude through the bag. And then um, lots of glitter. Glitter is always nice and sparkly and the kids enjoy those. And once you get that in, then you would take your hair gel. And there are different colors of hair gel, but we use clear because the children can really see the items in the bag better when um, you use the clear gel. And you don't have to buy expensive gel. just generic brand gel works just fine and you don't want to put too much in at first to start you want to be able to see how much you have in your bag and be able to move the items around in it and mix it up a little bit now this needs more you want to get it so it's um, somewhat poofy to the touch but you don't want it overflowing or you would take a chance on the bag popping so again you would just open it up you just do it little by little until you feel that you have enough um, gel in your bag Sometimes when you get down to the bottom of the bottle, bottle the gel's a little bit more difficult to get out. Okay, and then you would check again. And it still looks like it needs a little bit more. A little bit more. And then once you get uh, the gel in, what you can do is you can close the bags up and then you can have the children help you mix the items up into the bag. Otherwise they're just in a big clump at the bottom. And so that's fun for the children to do as well as to mix up the, the items. So then you would seal up the bag and if you have any gel um, in between the opening up here you would just wipe that out. And then you just mix up all the items that are in the bag until they're all mixed and smooshy together. And again, it's really a lot of fun for the children to make these and um, move the items around with their fingers. And then you should have a complete project that looks like this. This one we use stars in, star sequins in. And here's another glitter one that we did. For Discovery Bags, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com. And thanks for watching.